Now this was the code for while loop, right? Now what we'll do is in this example, we'll convert while loop into a for loop. Now the advantage of using for loop is, so when you talk about while loop, we have three steps, right? So we have to provide initial value, we need to provide condition and we need to provide increment and decrement or decrement, right? So we have to provide these three things in three different lines because while loop is only concerned about the condition. It is not concerned about the initial value. It is not concerned about the increment part. So while is only concerned about the condition. So in for loop, what we can do is instead of using while loop, we can in for loop, we have to specify three things. So first is initial initialization, then we have to specify condition and we can specify increment. So in, in initialization, we can mention here, which is i equal to one, and then we have to provide a semicolon as we have done in this line. Then we have to give a semicolon to provide the increment part, which is i plus plus. So we don't have to define, we don't have to initialize the value here. So that means we, no comment required, no comment required, and we don't have to mention this also. So we can write only one statement here in the for loop, which is print f, and all the three in important statements in the for, in the same line. So this is initial value, this is condition, and this is increment and decrement. So now if I run this code, you'll be getting the same output, high, high, high for the five time. So if you think which is better, for loop, right? Uh, not exactly. Depend upon your requirements, we can use different loops. Again, in the further example, we'll see uh, when to use while loop, when to use for loop, when to use do while loop. But time when, you know, you, now you know the syntax, right? We, we can use while loop with any condition. We can use do while loop in which you will execute the block at least once. And in for loop, we can specify all the three important statements in the same line. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's how you use a for loop. In the further to further examples, we'll take some uh, coding example just to work hard on this loop part. So thanks for watching and make sure you watch next videos.